Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is Spartan G and today we're gonna make the G36C rifle from the Fortnite. Actually it's not from the Fortnite because it's a real gun, real rifle, but yeah you get the idea. So as far as I can remember I just loved first person shooters and I love them now. Call of Duty and all the other uh, games were one of my favorite genres in the industry and now as the Fortnite has came along um, alongside with PUBG I have enjoyed these real rifles in the games once again and I kind of find it very interesting scale to have um, replicas in this uh, 1 to 10 scale where you can at the same time make the uh, details work and at the same time you are not uh, kind of uh, wasting too much space making large um, plain areas of the guns. Here you can see that I am making my barrel once again with the same technique of uh, coating this white tube from ear cleaner tubes into this black clay. Of course you uh, kind of uh, need to make the barrel and at the same time it works as a frame for me. Uh, the scale is quite uh, small, so it is quite easy to bend or damage anything, you know, being quite rude or sometimes even just putting it uh, wrongly, so to say, and gravity will do the job. So uh, quite often this frame will uh, work quite nicely and will help you avoid that situations as it goes all the way through the gun. And at the same time, uh, sometimes even works for the back portions of the gun where the structure um, sometimes gets even um, narrower, so to say, as it does in this uh, model right now. Here you can see that I have marked the place where the um, barrel is going to pop out and then the main body is going to be. Here it is, the scaling. And the back side is going to be for the uh, armrest. Here I'm showing you the uh, details I have used for the top part of the gun. Uh, I really do not know what is that thing for. Uh, maybe for carrying. Uh, maybe uh, if you know the idea, if you have an idea, please uh, give a comment down below. I have uh, broke off the toothpick, but broke it off enough so that they are connected still and quite stiff. So I get this figure you can see in the background and here is the narrow wire which I'm going to use for the stock as G36 has this kind of uh, quite narrow and slicky stock so I need them to be as narrow as possible. So here you can see that I have used this um, uh, toothpick, broken toothpick to make this top part of the gun. In my opinion it really looks quite nice, I needed a lot of layers to make it look right and uh, as you can see it is quite narrow and looks quite uh, uh, fragile but the uh, toothpick does its job quite nicely and it is not going to be bent or damaged if you uh, accidentally hit something to it. Right now what we need to do is make the bottom part of course, also make the holes in the front part and other details and make the rails on the top so uh, some kind of scope error or anything else can be attached to it. Here you can see that I have uh, started working with the stock as well, as well as I have made some kind of details on the top back part of the gun, covered up this, all these uh, different parts and lining to it and already right now it looks uh, like the gun itself, uh, G36 and uh, yeah it looks quite nice, uh, I, ha I can remember enjoying and getting happy when I, uh, were I, when I was tumbling into the G36 in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series and at the same time in the Fortnite of course but yeah, you kind of uh, find scars more often than these guns. Here you can see that I have at the same time attached the trigger and the stock is done of course. As you can see it is quite slick version and it will be very 
very difficult to make it work unless you have something inside. The simple clay rods will not hold off. They will bend, they will crook and it will be a disaster unless you are working in them very cold temperatures when where they can hold themselves together of course and here you can see almost finished version of it uh, i have added the magazine at the same time as other details uh, you can see there is a, a small a part of wheels on the front and the um, bottom part uh, which is for maybe flashlights or laser sights and other stuff of and here's the final version i'm quite happy with this result all these um, pins and bolts effect which i have created with the toothpick uh, makes it even uh, deeper and detailed in my opinion and it is a um, quite worthy addition to my gun collection of clay models uh, for which i have only two and of course i will continue making them as it is a fun for me and hope you enjoy them as well but the next video I hope is going to be, uh, it's not going to be from the Fortnite, but it's going to be a collaboration for me. And I'm very excited to that. I'm not going to tell you the details of it, um, but we'll tell you that it will be related to the dinosaurs. And yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. It was quite fun for me and at the same time I'm quite happy to enlarge my clay rifle collection, so to say. There are plenty of stuff I can do from Fortnite and if you like these kind of videos, I will continue doing them. Thank you very much. Once again, have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.